Hello everyone, so today we are going to be looking at Sandbox again and this time we are going to specifically look at the AI in it and before I continue just keep in mind that this is in-depth preview so a lot of things aren't finished so just keep that in mind Alright, first thing we'll look at to see how the AI works is a built-in well technically not built-in but it's made by Facepunch it's called AI Lab. And this allows you to like kind of play around with the AI and see how it works. So those of you who are familiar with Gary's mod know that there's two types of um like NPC systems. There's the classic NPCs, which is what my base BJ base runs on. And then there's also next spots which were like a newer thing that was made when I think Left 4 Dead was made, if I'm correct. So basically in Sandbox, neither of those things really exist. Instead, it's an entity, kind of like the player actually. In fact, it runs on the same entity that you would make the player. And um, you just make your own system basically, which is good because you get a lot of freedom over it. You can literally make it however you want. But of course, it does require more work because you have to basically code everything yourself. Even uh, things that are usually built in, like for example, relationship system, which is built into Gary's mod, you would have to actually code that yourself. Just, an, just as an example. So, Let's look at how it works. So to create one, I'm gonna be pressing here. So here we go, we have an NPC. Again, this is a test NPC made by Facepunch. It's very simple. It has two abilities right now, which is, uh, one of them is Wonder and one of them is Seek. So let's take a look at the Wonder. If I select it and I believe, if I press play, can I click one there? I'm not sure. Oh, okay, I have to click. Okay. Now, um, I'm gonna do drop hats just to help us see where he's navigating. And um, before we actually continue, let me just say that um, Sandbox uses nav mesh and AI nodes. But AI nodes are mostly only used for specific type of actions, like for example, taking a cover behind an object, or maybe like there's like a medium tall wall, and a human NPC could take cover. You know, there could be a AI node over there that specifies that. And the nav mesh is used as the general pathfinding, basically. So there's no AI node command, as far as I know. But oh, that was filter. Sorry, there's no AI node command or anything like that, as far as I know. But there is a couple of uh, other stuff that you can do. For example, nav edit is still here, which allows you to see the nav mesh. As you can see, this is the nav mesh of the map. Now, I didn't really work with nav mesh much in Source Engine 1 like in Gmod. Um, I mostly worked with AI nodes, but from what I know, for the most part, these are much better. They're more modern and allow you to do more stuff. So it's pretty cool. And from what I've heard in Source 1, there wasn't any angled um, nav meshes like this one, like this triangle or these ones. They were all squares. So that's a new feature as far as I know. Anyway, so, yeah, this is what the AI basically uses to pathfind. Now, looking at their intelligence, basically, there isn't that much yet, because there there's isn't many mods out there yet that have really made anything advanced. The best I've seen so far is, you know, being able to chase after the player and attack them, and 
wander around. That's that's the most I've seen so far. Maybe there are more advanced ones, and the creators probably haven't you know published it yet because it's not finished. But yeah, in the future, um, I assume there will be a lot more advanced stuff. And by the way, notice that this NPC is stuck here. This is an issue from the map, as far as I can tell. The nav mesh is not accounting for the sudden jump. Which we'll take a look at uh, later, actually. So, let's try seek now. I believe if I click here, yeah, it will seek. And let's say there was an enemy here and was to come up here. So you notice that it's getting stuck there again. If we speed this up a little bit. It does eventually uh, find its path there, so that's pretty cool. And unlike AI nodes, um, with nav mesh, they don't really have to go in a straight line. Now those who have worked with AI nodes know what I'm talking about. Like, let's say there were four nodes. Um, let's say one was over here, two, three, four. The NPC was to go from here to here. It most likely would not cross like this. It would instead go like, go this way and then this way. That's because AI nodes worked much differently. And most of you, if you have played Gears Mod or any Source game, you have probably seen what I'm talking about. But it's it works better with them. Let's actually take a look. Let me create an NPC right here. I'm gonna select seek. Let me put it to normal time and make it move over here. See, notice that it literally just crossed. Now with AI nodes, you probably would have needed a a node here because this is too big of an area for a node you would need a node here for it to go across the square like that because ai nodes if let's say there's a node here the npc can navigate about 200 units around it which is about like this and it can go anywhere from there but other than that it it doesn't do a well job when it's like a big area like this. It would require more nodes. Oh yeah, this is how the nav mesh works, which is pretty cool. Um, let's see what else we can take a look at here. So this over here just shows you the path that you're clicking to, basically. You can, I believe this will calculate it. Yeah. So this will give you like a visual path of how the NPC would navigate if it was to go over here. And you can see it's actually not that bad. Now one issue with nav mesh, which I believe somebody could technically code this, is that unlike nodes, there's no calculation for the size of the NPC or the hue. So, let's say this NPC was much larger, like maybe four times the size, and you tell it to go over here, it won't be able to recognize that it's too big to be able to fit through the doorway. So that's one thing to keep in mind. But again, this is this could most likely be coded in, and in fact, I want to try to code something like that when I continue working on the AI base which is what we'll be getting into next actually so I've been working on an add-on or a game as it's called in sandbox called AI box and let me just create a server currently it uses some elements from the default um, sandbox game like I brought over the uh, the fizz gun, you know, just the chat and the scoreboard, just simple things like that. 
But the point of this is I'm going to be attempting to make an AI base basically. Similar to VJ base, but um, hopefully much better because when I made VJ base, um, that was you know many many years ago, over ten years ago, and there were a lot of restrictions, and my programming skills weren't the best yet. I was still a beginner at the time, so obviously this time it will hopefully come out better, and plus. Um, I won't be restricted because VJ Base uses the uh, Half Life 2 MPC base basically. It's based on it. And there were many restrictions that I couldn't do anything about. So, currently um, in here you can spawn an MPC by pressing 1. And this runs on the base that I've created. It's based on the one that. Face sponge created that I just showed earlier, but um, I'm working on more features right now. For example, chasing an enemy, uh, working on a state system like idle alert, behavior systems like passive, aggressive, neutral, things like that. Um, but yeah, it's still in very, it, it's still in very like early stages so there isn't much to show right now but yeah i just wanted to show this and actually back to the edge thing over here um the player also gets stuck notice that i can't actually go over it unless i run so this is technically an issue from the map they could put an invisible wall going up like that but yeah um, that's AI in Sandbox, and actually, there's something else that I can show here, which I did show last time as well, which was the uh, NPC Zombie Horde game. Um, again, this uses not a crazy AI, like I said. All the AI right now in this game is very simple. But if people remember, I showcased this. I I showcased this uh, briefly. Uh, yeah, face spawn. Yeah, there we go. See, they have some simple AI. For example, if you shoot, they will uh, they will chase you. But yeah, this is the best AI so far in this game. There's also wow. other ones. This is not exactly a, I, an AI, but it could technically count as one. And it could be created to take advantage of nav mesh to navigate. But to give an example. Um, here it is. Okay. Basically, you create these melons that replicate. And they attempt to chase you and obviously any other physics around you so they can replicate basically. It's pretty cool. Um, if this ever takes advantage of Navmesh, I think this will turn out to be a very difficult game mode, in my opinion. Because having little melons like this chasing you and replicating is kind of creepy. And this, this could turn into a really fun game. See, there's a lot of props over here. If they reach over here, it's... Uh, they could replicate a lot. Yeah, I'm actually pressed too. There is a melon limit. I, I think I reached it because they're not replicating anymore. Oh yeah, you can of course change the melon limit, but be advised that it will lag. So, I yeah, see there's a bunch of them over here. 
and actually um oh no never mind okay for a moment i thought they were running on the same uh base as the uh, npcs and players so these are basically models so yeah that's it guys um thanks for watching um hopefully there will be more ai stuff in the future i am like i said i am working on a base and if i get anything worth showing i will showcase it here but at the moment as you guys saw it's very basic it's very bare bones so nothing much to show yet oh yeah that this is how the ai works in this game um i will say that if you have probably worked with next spots in gears mod a lot of a lot of the things might look familiar especially in uh, nav mesh but yeah Thank you for watching.